Okay, so uh, Kara called uh, in or uh, left a email message to, for help with lesson 56, problem number 14. Uh, if you have a similar uh, question or problem with this type of problems, go ahead and turn in your textbooks, uh, page 373, uh, lesson 56, problem number 14. Go ahead and pause this video so you can get there. Okay, so what they've given you, they're saying designate the region on the graph in which the coordinates of the points satisfy the given system of inequalities. And here is our system of inequalities, okay? So our first uh, expression we recognize as the equation of a parabola, okay? And that is plotted on our graph the dashed line indicating the graph of that parabola if it were an equality. Now, it's a dashed line because in this case, uh, it's an inequality, okay? In other words, when we plug x into the equation, x is zero, y will be negative three, okay? But y will be less than minus three. Okay, so for that expression to hold true, it has to be every point on the graph less than minus 3. In other words, every point below the graph would fulfill that expression. Now, uh, when it's exactly minus 3, it won't fulfill that expression. Okay, so y could be minus 100, it could be minus 10, it could be minus 4. Okay, it could be minus 3.1, it could be minus 3.0000009, as long as it's not minus 3. So where on the graph will that be true? It'll be every point, if we put any value of x in for the, on that parabola, okay, where, what will be the region of y where that will hold true? Well, in this case, it will be every point on the graph, if I shade this, below the line, and I'm not going to shade the whole thing, but basically every point in our graph system below the plot of that parabola, not including the line of the parabola itself, the curve of the parabola. Okay. Now we look at the second expression. We recognize it as the equation of a line, okay? It's represented by the straight line here on the graph uh, they give you in the book. Now, it does have a solid line because y could be equal to the expression on the right, or y could be greater than that, okay? So let's plug in 0 again in that equation. y becomes 1 right here, where our y-intercept is. y can be one, or it could be any point greater than one, any point above that line. So if we plug in any point of x for this line, okay, uh, to make this uh, statement true, this inequality true, y could be the point on the line where that value of x equates, or it could be any point above that. Okay, how would I uh, how would I shade that? I would shade every part of, of the graph above the line. But what we have here is we have a set of equations. Okay, so they want to know uh, when combining them, okay, when will the first expression and the second expression be true at the same time? Okay, so what we need in this case, we need every point below the parabola not including the, the curve of the parabola itself, and every point above the line, including the portion of the line itself. Okay, so that excludes the portion below the line. It excludes this region that I had shaded earlier. Okay, it only leaves these two portions of the curve shaded. Okay, and of course in your book, if you look at that, they have those uh, areas designated as B. I don't know if you can see that B there.
Okay, so it would be the portion below the parabola and above the line that are shared in that set of equations. So the answer uh, for this one, and I'm sorry that B isn't showing here, that is region B shaded. That is the answer uh, in the text, the textbook answer they're wanting region B. Now, just to make you aware, it would also actually include uh, this point here of intersection plus the part of the line and this point of intersection and this part of the line as well because we have an, an equality in the line equation. Now it does not include points of the, of the parabola because we only have an inequality there. Okay, but since we don't have an easy way uh, to express that, they're just wanting the particular regions of the graph that will hold true. But I just want you to be aware for this particular problem, it would also include this portion of the line and this portion of the line, as well as the region above it, as long as it's below the parabola. So hope that helps with this question. Shoot a text message or an email with any other questions on math problems. Okay, see ya.